develop an understanding of missing addends. Okay. My mouse is not working. Okay. Here we go. How can adding help you subtract? Well, one of the things that I do every time, if I can figure out what the part is and what the whole is, I can determine the other part. Or if I know two parts, I can determine the whole and I can fill in all of my equations like a puzzle. So if I remember to follow the rule of, you know, white pen, a part plus a part equals the whole. And if I can follow a whole minus a part equals a part, I can find any missing part or missing whole at any time, whether it's adding or subtracting. So if I can remember this, I don't ever have to subtract. I can always use my addition strategies. So if you see that minus sign, circle the whole, oops, Ms. Sanders needs to go up and grab a different color. I can see that a whole minus a part is going to equal the part, okay? So if I have a whole of five, I could draw five. One, two, three, four, five. That's my whole, okay? Here's my whole number bond, okay? My part line, so here's a part, and here is another part, okay? So if I have five as my whole, and four is my part, I can actually, I can manipulate the blocks to move around like this. Three, four, so four was my part, right? So what is my missing part? Whatever's left over, which is one, okay? I can use my count on strategy. I can make a number line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, oops, seven, okay, so if my whole is five, I'm going to circle five, that's my whole, label it my whole, and the part that I know is four, circle the four, I know I can count on from my part that I know up to the whole. So I start with four and I count on. Four, count on, five. So what am I at doing? I'm adding one more and putting the two parts together to create that whole. So the missing part is one, okay? And the whole is five. Okay, so let's go over here. It says use counters to show parts of five in the number bond. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five dots right there, right? This is my whole. Write two equations. Well, I know that the whole is five, right? Why do I know that that's the whole? Because I see a plus symbol. If I follow my rule of a part plus a part equals the whole, I can solve it. This is a part, this is a part, and the total is the whole. Here I have a whole minus, right? A whole minus a part equals a a whole minus a part equals the part, okay? So if I have five here, I know 
that I can put four as one of my parts and one as the other. So I can write four plus one or one plus four. The answer is the same no matter what you do, mix it up. So I can get the same total. I can add four plus one or one plus four. When I'm subtracting, I have my whole minus a part equals a part. Well, the two parts that I have here are four and one. So I could put four here because that was the part that I knew and one here. Let's count backwards from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 